Welcome back to another video guys, it's Blaze Dookie and today we're going to be talking about the Nintendo Switch and specifically how to store your Nintendo Switch games. Now if you've watched my other two videos you may have seen me do a video on 3D printed homemade Nintendo Switch game cases. I also did a video on a Nintendo Switch game case that has 72 slots for 72 games I purchased off Amazon and they were all cool but some people don't have 3D printers, most people don't have 3D printers and not everyone wants to spend $20 on Amazon. So um, I made it my mission to go out and find the cheapest, most cool looking, convenient, um, functional way to store your Nintendo Switch games and be able to take them with you on the go in a pinch. So funnily enough I was in Walmart and I was at checking out at Walmart and I saw these things. Now these things are Altoids Mints. Now they're only about two dollars or something. You can pick them up mostly anywhere, any grocery store, any um any store in fact that sells snacks and whatnot. If you go to the checkout area, look at the mints, you should find Altoids. And if you don't live in the US, um you might be able to find different metal tins like this one example I picked up at Heathrow Airport in the UK it's called Smints and they're a pretty it's a pretty handy little metal container for for your mints um, and obviously you pay two dollars for the mints but what you get for that two dollars is you get a bunch of mints that you can eat and by the time you're done eating the mints you've got these handy little cool looking functional metal tins to store your games to store anything that you want um, and I just think they're great, I think they're fantastic. Now, like I said, they only cost two dollars, so they're dirt cheap. You can find them almost anywhere, most grocery stores, most convenience stores, most gas stations, you can buy them. Um, and the same goes for the UK. Just look for the mint section and you should find a little metal container, just like this one, or these. Um, so yeah, I picked these up, I think they look fantastic. I think they, they almost look like some kind of little food container from the Wild West or um, the Wild West, like from some sort of saloon or something, you would go in, you'd pop in and you'd buy some of these. And it would make sense because it says the company has been making these since 1780, I believe. So they've been making these since the Wild West and they do have that sort of retro old western look to them and I think they look great. Now I was thinking about um, now I think I was overcomplicating it a little bit. I was thinking after I could eat these mints, um, I can maybe three D print some sort of inner shell to store and sort the games. But because the tin is quite small, I think I'm just going to use it as a portable game storage tin, just to throw games in that I want to take with me. Um, throw the games in, close it up, nice and secure, and put it in my pocket. And when I want to, and I see it could even fit in my t-shirt pocket up here. Pretty cool, right? So I could take it out of my pocket, um, open it up, and just sift through whatever games I want to take, whatever, whatever games I want to play. So it's that simple. Two dollars buys you a ton of cool mints that you can eat, and a cool little Nintendo Switch game case. Now, like I says, anyone can pick these up. They sell them at the grocery stores, they sell them at convenience stores, gas stations, etc. And they look extremely cool. They've got some character to them, and we all like to have some character. And things that we own, and these are, these have definitely got character. So yeah, um, Altoids tins, they're fantastic, they look cool, and they can hold a ton of games. So let's put my games into it and see how it looks. Um, how it looks, is it as good as I think it's going to be? Let's take a look, um, let's get into it. So guys, here we have them, the Altoids tins, and of course, our little Smint tin that I showed you that you can get in the UK. Um, as you can see, pretty easy to pop open. Um, I would say I would probably have to go for the Altoids ones if it was a choice, just because, just because you've got more space and better access to all your games. Now I'm thinking I'm just gonna shove some games in here and just, see how it goes and just when I want to uh, when I want to play the games just open it up sift through what game card I want and then take it out close it back up again nice so yeah that's what we're gonna do now I've seen people make tons of crazy things with these Altoids tins I've seen people make survival kits where they pack these full of little survival accessories first aid stuff I've even seen people turn these tins into game 
game, um, portable gaming machines. Um, I'll put some pictures here to show you what people have made with these. But today we're just going to make a Nintendo Switch game case. Um, we're not even going to overthink it, we're just going to shove stuff in, see what fits and all that good stuff. So this is what the, the tins look like with the mints in. Um, for some reason the paper says uncle, no idea why. Um, the Curiously Strong Mints, these are the wintergreen ones. You get a bunch of different flavours for them in different design tins. I've got the wintergreen ones and the peppermint ones. I prefer the peppermint ones, I think. But it's up to you, they all look cool. Um, but yeah, that's what the mints look like. And I think I'll just have one right now. So, let's get some games into these. So this is my game case I covered in a previous video. We're gonna put, what game are we gonna put in? We're gonna put Zelda. We're gonna put Friday the 13th in. And we're gonna put Super Mario Maker 2. And because a lot of people have actually liked my most recent video, we're gonna put Minecraft in. Um, mm, what else should we put in? Okay, we're gonna put Breath of the Wild in because I might wanna play that. Um, Splatoon 2, we're going to play The Witcher, I'm going to play some Assassin's Creed, um, I'll take Astral Chain, as you can see this can hold quite a lot of games and we're not even like, we barely put any in, I do like to play some FIFA now and then, now and then, um, The Binding of Isaac, I've been playing a lot of Dragon Age, Oh, sorry, Dragon Dragon Quest. Um, not Builders, I've not played that yet. But I've been playing a lot of Dragon Quest. Um, Skyrim. As you can see, I can just keep on going with this. For for a two dollar tin, for a two for a two dollar tin, you know this is pretty good. Um, Shovel Knight. Um, what else do I want to put in? What's this? Darksiders. And what else should I put in? A bit of Mario Kart. Here we go. So as you can see, there's all our games. Close it up. Snap. And it's ready to go inside your pocket. Now I've got pajamas on right now, but I'll show you just for the sake of showing you. Tiny little tin. Open your pocket. Slip it right in. You can barely tell it's in there. Now, if we do the exact same for other Altoids tins, I mean, they're all pretty universally the same. Um, for the Smint tins, if you live in the UK, and these are all you can get, these are still fantastic. Um, so yeah, like, I could just open this, you know, I could just sift through what game I want. You know, I, I don't have to fiddle around with, like, pulling the games out, damaging the games. I don't have to fiddle with getting them out these little fabric slots. I could just go like that. Find which game I want. I want to play Skyrim. Take it out. Good to go. Close the tin. And we're all good. Play Skyrim. Shove this back in the pocket. Now, you could even, if you want, if you don't want to carry as many games as that, pour this out. If you don't want to carry that many games, you can shove a few games in here, like, Dragon Quest, Zelda, Splatoon 2. Let's say you're going on a little trip somewhere. You just want to take a few games with you. Skyrim. And then get a pair of little earphones. Like these. Oh, get these off the fingers. Just have a pair of earphones in there. Okay, this is a bad idea. Cram them in. Hopefully you fold them or wrap them around better than I did. Shove them in there, close it shut, and you've got a little Nintendo Switch care package. Simple. So yeah guys, that's Altoids, Altoids Mint Tins. I think they're fantastic, they look great, they have that sort of nostalgia of like olden days and western look to them. They look great. I think you should absolutely, absolutely pick them up. Um, like I said, they're a few dollars, you get a ton of tasty mints from them and they work as pretty good game storage cases too. So, yeah. And oh, oh, before I go, here's the Smint ones. Shove a few games in. Friday 13th, Darksiders, Super Mario Kart, 
red faction and when you want to play you want to play them go like that choose what game you want put the rest back in simple good to go so yeah guys a cheap and affordable way to store your nintendo switch games i think it's great looks great feels great nice portable pocketable um and it's a definitely a great alternative to spend in 20 pound or 20 dollars on a game case like this from amazon this does hold 72 games but it is quite bulky um and obviously it's a good alternative to the the sort of rough 3d printed game slots that can kind of potentially not guaranteed but can kind of potentially wear down your game carts over time um these are great just shove some games in shove whatever you want in looks cool nice and pocketable i think it's a great buy i mean what more can you ask for two dollars well spent so guys thank you for watching this video sorry it was a bit long um please hit that subscribe button it would mean a lot to me if you did subscribe and let me know if you have any novel and um, creative ideas to store your games down below in the comments i read all the comments and i might even bring up your comment in the next video um obviously hit that like icon if you like this video hit the dislike if you dis if you didn't like it um and just you know subscribe and hit the bell icon so thank you guys for watching it's plays 2k i'll see you in the next video peace out